In the past two years, Chinese manufacturing has fully counterattacked. The subway train developed and built by China entered the United States for the first time and began to operate in the American city of Boston. On the first day of the subway operation, the American people began to question the level of Chinese manufacturing. But the moment the subway started, everyone on the scene was stunned. Let's take a closer look in this video. Boston is one of the earliest cities in the United States and even in the world to use the subway. The Boston subway has a history of more than 100 years. However, while the American economy is developing rapidly, the Boston subway has been stagnant. Because of the delay in determining the replacement plan for the new generation of subway trains, the local people have a lot of complaints. Later, in order to ensure economic development, Boston was forced to start bidding for a new generation of subway trains from all over the world. In the end, China defeated France and other Western countries and successfully won the big order from Boston. At the beginning, many Americans who did not know the truth had concerns about whether China could build qualified subway trains. But after the subway from China began to run on the track in Boston, they were immediately impressed by Chinese technology. On the day when the subway was officially in operation, it received a lot of praise. People in the United States feel that the subway made in China is far better than the previous subway. Of course, part of the reason for this is that Boston's previous subways have been in operation since the last century, so they are relatively backward in all aspects, but China's subways are also good enough. They said that in addition to fast speed and smooth operation, China's subway has several very user-friendly settings. The first is the reporting function. There will be voice and electronic display prompts at each stop. This surprised them very much because it can actually avoid the situation of over-sitting or reverse-sitting to a large extent. The second is that the train will sound an alarm to help people predict whether it is suitable to enter, which can reduce the occurrence of some dangerous accidents. These are some surprising little designs. They feel that it is time to break the prejudice against Chinese manufacturing. Boston's use of Chinese-made subways means that for China, its manufacturing industry is rising rapidly, while for the United States, it means that it is completely behind in the field of subway and other rail transportation manufacturing industries. In fact, the United States was far ahead of China in this field for several eras. In 1897, the Boston subway was put into use and became the first subway in the United States. It has a history of more than 120 years. In 1897, when China was still immersed in the shadow of defeat in the Sino and Japanese War of 1894-1895, the whole country was trying to find a way out of the country's colonialism. Soon after, the reform movement of 1898 broke out, and at this time Americans had already started a new modern mode of urban transportation, namely the subway. In a flash, China's subways are advancing by leaps and bounds. By 2019, 39 cities have opened subways, and there are still many cities under construction, while the United States only has more than 10. China not only has the most subway cities, but also has a very long mileage, several times that of New York and London. Not only that, because of the long history and lack of maintenance and renovation of the Boston and New York subways in the United States, most of the stations and carriages are very dilapidated. Compared with the large and bright subway stations in China, they are like heaven and earth. What's more, some stations have no ticket office at all. And the trains are also rusted everywhere. 
Some American netizens joked that many trains were so old that they can enter a museum. In 2014, the Massachusetts Department of Transportation invited bids for Boston subway vehicles from all over the world. Due to the limitation of existing local line conditions, the requirements for new trains are very strict. To run the most advanced trains on the oldest lines, the weight of the entire vehicle cannot exceed 34 tons. This most important technical parameter is more complex than redesigning a complete solution, shutting out a number of internationally renowned manufacturers. After multiple screenings, in 2014, the Massachusetts Department of Transportation signed a supply contract for 284 subway vehicles with CRRC Changchun Railway Vehicles Company, LTD. After trial and error, CRRC worked hard to reduce the weight of multiple systems in stages and used more than 80 new measures to reduce weight in terms of program planning, structural design, material selection, and space optimization. In the end, the weight was reduced by 1.8 tons, and the weight of the body was controlled at about 33 tons. In addition, the exterior of the vehicle adopts a special process, which looks very flat and almost seamless with the car glass. A button specially designed for the disabled is set outside the carriage. Once the disabled person presses this button, a pedal about half a meter will extend out when the subway stops, seamlessly connecting with the platform, making it easier for the disabled to get on the train. There are at least three or four disabled areas in each carriage. The low-cost, high-efficiency, and localized, made-in-China subways have ushered in more repeat customers from the United States. At present, CRRC has entered the four major cities of Boston, Chicago, Los Angeles, and Philadelphia, and has received orders for 1,359 subway and commuter buses. In the last six months alone, it has received orders for 184 subways in Boston and Los Angeles, and 45 orders for commuter buses in Philadelphia. In the future, the Chinese-made subway will stop at Harvard University and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, serve the 2028 Los Angeles Olympics, and drive into Hollywood. Why is Made in China so popular? According to industry insiders, China has almost all the core technologies of the world's advanced rail transit equipment and the average cost of constructing subways is only about half of that of foreign companies, while the construction efficiency is more than double that. From the export of accessories to the export of complete vehicles, from low-end products to high-end products, from underdeveloped markets to developed markets, China's rail transit has finally entered the world's top market. In the future, Made in China will continue to travel around the world, bringing excellent Chinese technology and Chinese quality overseas. The fact that Chinese subway trains can enter the U.S. market and gain such wide recognition also reflects China's current strength. Although the national strength of the United States still ranks first in the world, due to the perennial trend of industrial hollowing out, the United States is now unable to manufacture many advanced industrial products by itself, allowing China to catch up in these fields and become the most powerful country in the world. American product standards have always been one of the most stringent product standards in the world, and Chinese products can pass the inspection of the United States and win the American market, which proves that Chinese products are fully capable of replacing the West. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.